Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about Ableton's Guitar Tuner to get you ready for your jamming sessions. We'll start with the quickest explanation and then go into a bit more detail for those who still need to get set up. To load Ableton's Tuner, simply come up to the browser on the top left and click on Audio Effects. Then come down the list which appears on the right hand window until we come to the tuner. Then either drag and drop or double click to load. If you need to get your guitar set up to record, check out our tutorial on recording with Ableton. One thing I will mention here though, is even if you are all ready to record and you've got your track armed as so, but can't hear your guitar through Ableton, you can use the monitoring buttons to decide if you'd like to hear yourself or not. Make sure it's set to auto or in if you'd like to hear as you play. Be aware though that sometimes you will get a bit of a delay or latency as the signal from your guitar goes into your computer. There are various ways to combat this, and perhaps at some point we'll do a proper tutorial, but that's an in-depth one for another time. Once you are playing, you'll see the tuner will tell you exactly what note you are closest to, and how far away you are from being in tune. I'm not cool enough to have a guitar set up, but I do have Ableton's inbuilt operator instrument set up, so I can adjust the pitch just for the demonstration. As you can see, I can even change the display mode here on the tuner, to either a more traditional guitar tuner or more of a piano roll where I can even see the notes I play. We can also change if the tuner keeps our notes central in the display and follows us around or not, and if we'd like to tune in sense, the more musical way, or hertz for a more frequency perfect display. The reference is best left alone unless you know what that is for, but it's to give the tuner a guide as to what kind of tuning you're in. Don't worry, 440 hertz is the standard for most music. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other tutorials for more. Thanks.